Mr. Lima? Mr. Arthur Lima? Yes, sir. Who's asking? I am. My name is Wallace. I have a few questions to ask you. About your daughter, Patricia. You know, I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told the authorities 10 years ago. I had nothing to do with her disappearance. I'm sure. But then why does the local sheriff uh, department keep a record for you after all these years? I don't know. Ask them. Look, do you mind looking through some of these? What is this? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want you to look through there, see if you recognize any of those children. Yeah, I seen this kid with his mom last week at, at Deerland. What's it to you? Look, Mr. Lima, 10 years ago, the night your daughter disappeared, the only other eyewitness, he said that there was a bright light coming out of your barn. Now listen, this past week, we've had six children disappear. Just stray out of their beds, front doors open, no sign of a forced entry. I can't tell you who I work for. I promise you, I can get you your daughter back. We just need to hurry. <clears throat> Time's running out. What do you say? You know what? I have nothing to do with this. Why don't you take these pictures? Get the heck out of here, all right? Keep going. Get out of here. Fine. What did he want? Don't worry about it. Did you tell him about what you saw out in the barn? Shh. Nobody needs to know what's in that barn. Is my cooking really that bad? No, I just got a lot on my mind. Well, you need to eat to keep up with all the work you have to do tomorrow. I forgot to put my tools back in the barn. I thought I told you to meet me at the house at 9. Let's cut to the chase, Arthur. You have what I want, and I have what you want. What's wrong with your ear? Don't. Please. Back my children. You one ugly son of a gun. Mr. Lima, you made the right choice. Thank you. Thank you. 